Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, it is a very, very exciting video. I say that about almost every video, but this one in particular is really exciting because I have been wanting to try this brand for a really long time. I just hadn't gotten around to it. In today's video, I am going to be collabing with Miss A, also known as Shop Miss A. That is their website. As some of you may know, they are a dollar makeup brand. They have their own brand, AOA Studio, Elf, LA Color, they have a multitude of different brands that they do sell on their website but before we get into it thank you so much miss a for sponsoring this video i am so excited to try out all of your products and without further ado let's go ahead and get into it If you guys don't already know what Miss A is, it is an online business that sells makeup starting at $1. So not only do they have beauty, they have homeware, they have skincare, beauty tools. They also have hair accessories, bath bombs, bubble bars, etc. They literally have everything. Another nice thing about this brand is that they are cruelty free. And every day that you go onto the website, they stay up with trends and they always have something new. I've probably been on the website about 10 times in the last week and there have been new products I looked today and there are new products that I didn't see there before I will go ahead and list everything in the description box down below of what I've used if I missed it talking about it typically I don't miss it because I try to be very thorough with everything that I do but if I did miss it everything will be in the description box down below prices links all of that so let's go ahead and get into trying on the makeup so it is packaged very very well it comes in a bubble wrap first product I'm gonna go in with you guys know that I have to put on every single time before I start a full face. This is the Pop Fruity Flavored Gloss. I got this in pineapple. This also came in strawberry, watermelon, and a few other flavors, but I'm a pineapple girl. This is a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but I mean, for a dollar, that's pretty good. Mm, and it does smell like pineapple. Hmm. Okay, so this texture isn't sticky at all. And I know that a lot of people are gonna like this texture because it's not sticky, but it's also not too slippery. I typically like a lip gloss or lip balm that's gonna be a little bit more sticky because it lasts a lot longer. And that's just what I grew up with. That's what I'm used to. This one's nice. Smell goes away really fast though. It's already gone but it does feel moisturizing. The next thing we're gonna go in with are the primers. I have the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. You guys know that I have to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter that is pretty much an illuminating primer. I need something that's gonna make my skin look a little brighter, a little more dewy. And then I also got the AOA Studio Clean Slate Primer. It is lightweight and it leaves your skin silky smooth while extending makeup wear. I feel like half of this video is gonna be me opening up all the product. I should have done this before. Let's go ahead and put on the clean slate first. So that looks like there, it's very lightweight. It's a little runny. I can't explain the smell. It smells different, but I kind of like it. Now I'm gonna go in with the Wonder Skin. That looks like there and... Ooh, that is pretty. It has a pink tint to it. It doesn't have a shimmer in it. You can see how luminous it is. That is really pretty. I'm just gonna apply this in spots where I would usually apply it. This does feel really good on the skin and I can already see how luminous it looks on my forehead and on my cheeks. It's really, really nice. That is so pretty. Look at how natural that looks too. I love this. The next product that we have here is the Mochi. Wonder Blender. This is so cute. I really like the slant on this. I'm gonna go ahead and wet this and I'll be back with the other products that we're gonna try on next. All right guys, I'm back. I wet the sponge and the sponge got really big and it's really soft. It just feels like heaven right now. The next product that I have here is by AOA Studio. This is the Slim Brow. The shade that I got is in Ebony. I believe this is the one of the darkest ones. It's a retractable pencil and it does have a spoolie on the other side and the spoolie is actually really nice on this now this is very easy to work with it's not super waxy thankfully it hasn't broken by now usually with pencils that are a little bit more on the waxy drier side for some reason this type of formula always breaks but this has not broken yet the color is perfect now the only thing that I would say about this is that it does kind of ball up a little bit but all you have to do is just brush it out and you're fine the next product that I'm gonna go in 
working with are foundations. I did get two foundations because I wasn't sure about the color. The first one that I got is by AOA Studio. This is the Pro Wear Foundation. This is supposed to be full coverage. I got this one in ivory. This is the AOA Studio A Plus Buildable Satin Foundation. I got this one in pure beige. All right, so let's go ahead and try out the foundations. I'm gonna go ahead and just says, it says to shake really well. So we're gonna shake really well. I'm gonna do the lighter color first. It is a squeeze tube. I'm gonna go in with the mochi sponge. This sponge feels so good on my face. I think I might actually like it better than most of the sponges that I have. It's doing a really good job blending everything out. And this foundation, is pretty full coverage. I mean, it's obviously not gonna cover up my beauty marks, but all of my imperfections that I have on my face, they're not there. I look like a ghost right now. I should have gone to her. <laughs> oh God, that's fine. I look like Casper. Do you guys remember the movie Powder? I feel like that's what I look like right now. That's fine. Well, we can fix it. We can make it work. Now that we have that done and I look like Casper right now, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with the darker shade. It's not too orange. <laughs> Looks like it may be too orange. Ooh, that smells really good. I really like the smell of the second foundation. It smells really good. Even mixing it, this is really, really light on my face. It should have gone way darker, but I felt like the shades that they had on the website, they didn't have enough of, or the colors were just off by a little bit. I probably could have gone in with the darker shade by itself. I'm gonna use the bronzer to darken up. So I'm gonna look crazy for a little bit, but that's fine. After sitting here blending for a little while, it did get a little darker, which is great. And this foundation is full coverage. For being a $1 foundation, this is amazing. Now we're gonna go into the eyes. I'm gonna start out with their primer. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Eyeshadow Primer. I almost didn't get this. I just felt like with it being a dollar that it would just kind of like move around everywhere. I am so loyal to my Urban Decay one that I've tried another one, but I didn't really like it. So it's kind of like, oh, I don't know. It is a regular doe foot applicator. Slight scent to it, but it's not like anything big. And I did get the original color. I'm just gonna apply some on here. Going on right now, it feels very, very reminiscent to the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It feels exactly like the Primer Potion. It's not super greasy, which is really nice. I have used primers that were from the drugstore that felt really oily and slick, but this feels really good. I've literally changed my hair. I don't even know how many times. Sorry about that, guys. We're gonna move on to the eyes. As you guys can see, this is the palette here. It is pretty much like a Z palette. You do have the mirror and you have all nine of your shades here. We have five shimmers and four mattes and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys first one that we have here is midnight the next one is exotic and then we have adorbs the next one is starlet the next one is sensation the next one is rich the next shade that I have here is terracotta the next is allure and the last one we have is crown the first shade I'm gonna go in with is adorbs this has a regular kickback like any other eyeshadow okay so with the eyeshadow going over top of this over the primer it literally feels almost exactly like the urban decay one and i'm pretty impressed so far this is blending out really well and the color is really nice i wouldn't say that it's like super pigmented but there's enough and you can still build it up to where you want it to be the next shade i'm going to go in with is terracotta it is a terracotta color <laughs> packed on this is really pretty this is really nice because you can build them i'm assuming because of the eyeshadow base that i use that this is doing well because of that. These are coming off more of like a orange than a brownish terracotta color. I mean, it's still terracotta, but it looks more orange to me in person. I am gonna deepen up the crease and I'm gonna go in with the shade Rich. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the outer corner and work my way. I don't want this to be too much. This is blending out really well. You just have to pack the con first and then work your way in. This look obviously isn't something that's like super amazing but so far this looks so good everything is blending out so well so seamlessly i didn't have to do a lot of blending they pretty much blended themselves next shade i'm going to go in 
working with is Starlight. It looks like a white champagne gold shade that's just gonna go all over my lid. I know that I always do looks like this, but I just kind of want to match my outfit, you know? Ooh. Okay, that is coming off a little bit more champagne-y gold than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be more of a white. So I don't know if the eyeliner that I'm gonna do is gonna go with this. I'm gonna try it with setting spray. Ooh, much better, but it is getting all over my face. For the next product, I'm really excited for this one. This is why I wanted to do a very simple eye look. This is the AOA Studio Neon Buttercream Gel Liner or Shadow in Enthusiastic. It is so cute, this packaging, and it is a very bright green color. See how well this works. I have not used a gel eyeliner in a really long time. Okay, not bad. This going over top my eyeshadow, it's not mixing. It doesn't look bad. This actually looks really good on top of one another. It doesn't go on super pigmented at first. You do have to layer it, but I feel like when you do start to layer it, you have to do a little bit at a time. After working with the buttercream eyeliner, it does work really well and it does have a lot of pigment, but once it starts to dry down and you try to add more on top of it, it does start to flake off a little bit. You need to lay this down fast, quick, otherwise it will start to crumble. Next product that I'm gonna go in with is the concealer. This is the AOA Studio Liquid Concealer in a Fair Ivory. Again, I don't know if this is gonna work out. This might be too light for me, so I may have to mix it with a concealer that I have. It's gonna go ahead and put in a little bit right here and right here. Ooh, she's light, oh my God. Okay, in camera, it is very light. You guys know that I don't usually like going in with sponges, so I am gonna wait to use this and I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. brush. This is too bright. Okay, this is fine. We can make it work. Blending out really well. I'd say that this would be a good highlighter. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. I'm gonna add a little bit here, just a little bit because this does go a long way. I'm just gonna darken this up just the hair. The next product that I have here is AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Press Powder in Ivory. So that's what that color looks like. It is a little light, but we will be fine. I'm gonna grab a brush and I'm gonna set under the eyes just a little bit. I'm gonna see if this changes the color. Very, very little. It's not bad. We're looking good. It doesn't look cakey under the eyes, which is my number one thing. Creasing is always gonna happen. I'm gonna say this in every single video. Creasing will always happen. If you have creases under your eyes, they're going to be there unless you put paint under your eyes. The next product that I have here is by Amuse Cosmetics. This is the bronzer, blush, and highlight palette. I really love this palette because of the tones of this. So this is the bronzer here, and then we have the two blushes. So I love a really bright pink for that just bitten look. And this peachy color here, it's kind of picking up on camera more of a brown. And then we have a highlight shade here. I'm gonna go in with the bronzer first. Okay, it's not too bad actually. This is blending out really well. Okay, there we go. There she is. So it's not as cool tone as I thought. So if you look at this compared to this, it's a little bit more warm tone, which is nice. With all the other products on top of it, the bronzer looks really good. It's not skipping anywhere. I'm gonna mix the two blush shades and we're gonna see how this goes. It's really pretty. I'm gonna swatch the highlight shade for you guys because I already have a highlighter down here that I will be trying. So that's what that looks like. It is very pink toned. The next product I'm gonna try out is the AOA Studio Fat Lash Mascara in black. This one was actually their best seller. Okay, this one's really nice. The formula is kind of like the Maybelline Sensational. It smells like regular mascara and you have a plastic wand. Okay, so it's grabbing every single lash. It's really nice. The consistency I think helps a lot and the wand is kind of like the Maybelline Sky High where it kind of moves around a little bit. However, it is not really lifting yet. For sure, definitely grabs every single lash. I think this would probably do really good with people who have longer lashes that are curly but for me, it's just not working. So it's pretty much what it's doing to it right now. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. I have a feeling that this is gonna work really, really well on the lower lash line. Next, I have the AOA Studio 3D Faux Mink Premium Natural Lashes in Isla. And then I do have the AOA Super Strip Lash Adhesive. This one seems a bit runny, but we will see. Ooh, it smells really strong. Yeah, let me go ahead and see. I gotta, I gotta trim these, you guys, hold on. Here goes nothing. We are good, we are sticky. Whoa, those are dramatic. 
Well, okay, those are so cute. I really love these lashes. They are a bit dramatic for me. They are very long, but I love these lashes. I am actually really impressed with this because I had seen reviews on it and some people are like, oh, I think I need to wait longer for it to dry, but I would almost compare this to the Kiss Lash Adhesive. All you need is just a little bit. You let it dry for like 15 seconds, if that, and it's all already sticky and you can still kind of move it around if you want but oh my gosh like I'm really impressed right now and the lashes are so pretty on the lower lash line this does so much better for me definitely separated the lashes it thickened them up and they look really good like it actually looks like I have lashes down there <laughs> because I literally have like none we're gonna get into a highlighter I again had watched Manny's video and he said that this was awesome so I got the AOA Pow Light in Astro. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Do you guys see that? Oh my freaking gosh. Oh, that is a highlighter. Okay. He was not wrong. That is so pretty. If you want to beam to the gods, this is what you need. There is a little bit of glitter in it when you first put it on, like very, very fine specks of it. Other than that, this is, I mean, holy moly. Literally for a dollar, you guys, a freaking dollar. The last product that we're gonna go in with doesn't really match, but we're still gonna try it out. It is the AOA Velvet Lips. This is in the shade Claire. It is more of a peachy shade, but I couldn't find anything that was a nude shade because they were all sold out. So it's not going to match it, but I'm still going to try it on. And then I'll put on a different color that matches this eye look. It's really comfortable. Kind of feels a little cooling. This color combination is bomb. So if you have a lip liner that is the same shade as the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, or just any, it could be drugstore. I haven't really found a dupe yet. This combo is really good. Okay guys, so I do have a few more products that I do want to try out with you. One of the last things that we have here is the A Plus Setting Spray. This is lightweight, matte finish, and long lasting. The reason why I made that face the first time is because I held the sprayer up here, but the product was only coming out of the bottom part like a lot, so it just may be the sprayer here. I remember watching a few videos and a lot of people said that this smelled musty, but it doesn't smell musty. It smells like honey and a rhododendron. That's what this smells like, and it's not bad. It's just different. The last product that we have here I did not put on my eyes this is the AOA Studio Wonder Liquid Eyeliner. I picked this one out because it has a brush tip. Tip. It's not a felt tip. I typically like liquid eyeliners that have a brush tip because it's much easier to work with. You can get a crisper line. You can get a wing that gives you that nice little flick. This is what the eyeliner looks like. It actually looks really good. It's not feathering anywhere. It is more of a satin finish. All right, guys. So I am done with this whole look and trying out all of the products from Miss A. Honestly, you guys, I am really impressed with everything that I got. I didn't get anything that was a super disappointment in this whole batch of products. I think I may have some new holy grails. I am just absolutely impressed. Everything literally is only a dollar, maybe like a dollar 88 or something like that. And some of these products are amazing. You guys should not sleep on this brand. It took me so long to try this brand. A lot of these things are going to be in my regular makeup routine. I'm definitely going to be trying more stuff. If you want a ball on a budget, this is definitely the website that you need to go to. So with that being said, I really enjoyed everything and I hope you guys check them out. I will go ahead and put their website down below. You guys can check all of their stuff out. All right, guys, so that is it for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If there's anything else that you guys wanna see, please let me know in the comment section down below. Again, thank you, Miss A, for sponsoring this video and letting me try out these amazing products. Like I said, I'm shook. I'm shook. I repeat myself a lot. I'm shook. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, no. Post notification. Don't forget to click the post note. Because I did a Seattle. I have a lot to clean up.